Santiago, this is Wagner. Just your cleaner. Uh, pad. Anything that's scratchy, clean it real good. Oh, this is also good for uh, dirty tubs. This will help us, you know, clean uh, the cleaning process faster. It's not needed sometimes, but most of the times it is since it penetrates through the ceramic or uh, fiberglass. So the paint will actually, the primer will actually stick. So right now I'm just trying to give it the best thing that we can. If you see any spots that are more dirtier, give it another two or three turns. Usually this one was already painted, didn't need it, but just to be safe enough. This is a residential house, so yeah, it's uh, it's needed. We also have this other one that's for ceramic, but I like to use this one because it's just I think it's better personally. The other one's more for uh, like cloth wood tubs or those. I'm oh, sorry, my favorite, but I don't come around those too often. Let me show you the other one. This is the itch, glass itch. Very good, very dangerous if you don't use gloves by the way. You have to uh, you have to use either a brush or anything to put it on. Yes, I said it already. Use gloves. <laughs> it will itch if you leave it on your skin for too much. You will get infected if you don't take care of it as soon as possible. I already had that happen to myself. sure everything's clean around the drain is most likely to peel like any other commercial properties when you put industrial make sure if uh, they have any new uh, like drain cover or a uh, spout or uh, anything that's new make sure you don't, you don't hit this with it because they will Go um, eat it. You will see the tear mark of it. You don't want that. After after you're done putting it, and you you make sure it's all clean. Give it about five minutes for the chemical to react against it, and uh, go ahead and clean it. I usually clean it with hot water because I just think it removes the. Soap scum or anything, you know, much better. Cold water just makes it, I don't know, stick more. Also, when you put this on, just make sure you uh, do, do this first. If you see it's dirty, do it first. Do not prep because you are going to use water. When you rinse it, it also helps you know with the grease, dust, soap scum, anything that's just not supposed to be here. Use the same scrubber. Save money. Once again, use gloves. This is a 9 mil glove. So, I'll up to it again. You can 
use a cup to rinse it off, you know. I just did it because I have prepped it, so I can't get my stuff wet. You do have to do the outside. Like I said, just do, do this first, do not prep. Once the water is slowly going away, keep doing it little by little. Make sure you get all the residue, all your dust. Soap scum, anything, anything. Stuff has to be perfect. That's how I think. People think different. Clean it, make sure you dry it 100%. Like right here. This is really good. The water will not go through there. There's some be there'll be some other places where they have a gap or caulk is not really well, you know, put on there. You just have to really get any water residue because water does not get along with our epoxy so make sure it's completely 100% dry around anything corners drains pots whatever make sure it's 100% dry I can't say 99 because you will have that reaction and you will have to come back which in our part that's not good I just think that's a little bit of a money and time wasted there will be like this is perfect like I said we did a good job here but there will be some parts with silicone or anything that's uh, related to the latex uh, remove it remove it make us know too make the boss know because we will charge for that latex I mean uh, I'm sorry Car silicone will not it does not get along with us yeah. yeah, it's paintable, but as long as you, as soon as it's dry and everything, you push it, you will, you will hear cracks, and that means the paint is not sticking, and that's where the chips and everything starts, and uh, that's where our warranty will not cover if it's already been silicone with it. You can use silicone on our product, but it has to be after we're there, and that's not on our choice. That's the residents or the tenants' choice. You know. We go with uh, we go with our original cog, which is good for our stuff. We can cock it for them. You can come back the next day or the next weekend. You need a cock, but remember, do not use. Or if you come across it, remove it. Silicone will not. It will not. What's the word I'm looking for? This is the last process to prep. Well, say my last. You still have to cover these two. You can either go. You can either use thinner or acetona. Some uh, some of my colleagues prefer acetona. It's been here longer. I use thinner. I don't know how I got used to thinner. Uh, make sure you get everything clean. Some people want to clean spouts for drains. I do. I need to tape the stick. I don't need nothing to be moving around, flopping around, tape loose, any kind of anything like that can distract me because I'm picky. Sure you get the tub clean. Use as many paper towels as you can as long as you use them right. <laughs> Wipe it down real good. I usually start from the sides so all the dust can fall down to the tub. Once I'm done with the sides, I go from one side, push the dust to the other side while my paper towel is still humid. Catch all the dust residue. If you have a lot, a lot of dust, you get a piece of plastic, you know, plastic or paper. I use plastic because plastic really attracts stuff. You know, just like any other duster, just push it. It's a little dust, but some example. Push it, there you go. You got your duster right there. Throw it away. It's clean. 
SF Peaky, so I will use it again. Yeah, by the way, when you do this, you at least, if you're not gonna wear a mask, at least have the ventilation running. I don't, because I need you guys to hear me. Um, or use your mask if you don't wanna use the ventilation. You will get high. It's not a good high. It's a headache high after you're done. We usually use these. This tells us how much we can use for a tub, tub and surround, uh, cabinets, maybe countertops. You know, everything's measuring just so you use the perfect amount for the tub or anything. So I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix the top coat first. Usually you have to shake them. So. I'll once you've been having these for a while, most of the chemicals stay down in here, but if you shake them, just, you know, it's a good thing. Okay, so, I had this happen to me once. It was my fault. Uh, you know, when you have the tape, it's good. But once it's like this, just make sure you have your finger or anything, you know, it's just to hold it. Because I had it happen where I just shook it real hard and then the cap was loose. Okay, so, I got reminded. You go 50-50 on these, like I am just doing a tub, and I know how much I need for a tub, I just do 50-50. Uh, like, by that I mean um, half and half. Let's say I do 4 ounces and then 4 ounces of hardener. And then the rest will be of uh, your reducer, which is acetonin. You can use thinner, but I recommend you don't, this is better. You know, I use less. Because the more I use the acetone, the clearer it gets and the thinner it gets. So make sure you don't use too much acetone to reduce it. Make sure you have enough. Perfect. Let's do a white. Mix it right. Every gorge again. Okay, so now it goes a primer. Remember, these two, two go, go together. Make sure you keep them away from it. Your primer needs to go together. Uh, learn that. Uh, usually, you, you know, you don't have to use these, but I've been doing it for a while now. You just get used to it. You know your, you know your own amount and all that. So I just, I usually do more on primer. I leave it thick. Okay, so here, uh, like I said, keep prep different. My way is just, uh, I use only these two. I read the label, it says you do not need a re reducer, but we do use it. So I use it in some cases with cabinets because it dries faster and you're just, you know, you need to be on that speeding process where commercial really, you know, has to be a little faster. Usually just reduce it a little bit. I reduce it a little bit. I don't, I don't use much of this on primer because uh, I mean, it really lives it thin. Remember, the best the, the coat that really matters is this one, the first coat, which is a primer, because this is what makes the top of stick. Without this, this is no good.
salad towel up, you know, and I'm spraying it. Top full top coats. That will be two coats of uh, primer and two coats of top coat. Usually the three, but today you just need only two. Start with the. Uh, we're finished. Let's start. Taking all this paper off. Start down there. So my foot will be all sticky. Start with the whole corner. When you peel, peel it on an angle. Just so we're. The tape, if it's stuck to the tub, 